Dustin Signs. Well, Dustin's a guy that uh, really, I, I know Coach is really looking for him uh, to give him some help, particularly in the middle of the game. You know, you're going to give up one, you give up two maybe, but uh, don't let yourself fall into the trap. Got into some trouble, but got out of it with a big K. Right-handed pitcher who's coming back to his hometown of College Station to throw. Yeah, Reese uh, Esterling, uh, Easterling, uh, college, college Station High School. Everything off for the lineup. Rody Ball. Hit that well. Toward the pole and left. That went foul, but it was caught by the left fielder. Dustin Sines, second strikeout. Uh, it's off, Sines. Nice play. That's about as clean an inning as you can get. After he's on this roster who can pitch, Zach Deloach with a rip to right. Now he's now 8 for 10 on the season, not too bad. I believe that's the current plan. I think Rob likes to have a uniform that they can use. How about... We turn the wheel one more time. It's in the dirt, loaded with Aggies, two outs, and a big sequence coming early in the ball game. Up the middle base hit, Trevor Werner's going to drive in a couple. Frizzell and Deloach come home, and they're at the corners. The order's going to create a lot of good things. Well, Bryce Blom heading toward the gap in right center. The Aggies make it a couple more. Honer scores. Coming around third base, Trevor Werner. Four, nothing. Blom drives in a couple. Nice swing right there. Uh, reliever. Uh, Gonna have to beat that out. Not an easy play. Kind of double clutch the throw, but just did get Rody Bark. So we're not quite through with the bottom of the second. While we were away, the previous play, the ground out by Rody Barker, went under review. And the call is overturned correctly, as you can see here. Beat the throw. I should get a look at it here when this plays over. That's hit well by Logan Sartori to left field. And that is off the wall, and the Aggies have another one. They'll stop Barker at third. Yes. Well, back to action, and Will Frizzell, the Aggies have batted around. He led off this inning, but now he'll bounce out. Four innings last year against SFA allowed one earned run in his first career start as an Aggie. And that is the first hit of the ball game for the Lumberjacks. Kane and Dodge bouncer. Left center. Said that north wind's going to keep that, that one in the ballpark. I don't think it would have gone out of the ballpark, but it would have got to the warning track. An inning ago. Sky this to left, shallow. Jared Martin toward the line, coming in, diving effort. Couldn't come up with it. Zach Deloach is at second base. Through the left side. Deloach will stop at third. Inside the line at third base. Honer delivers. 7-0. Well, there you go. That's a fair ball. That's why you show that bunt, huh? <laughs> yeah. Get the third baseman in, put it right by him. It was called out on a bouncer to short, slow roller. Came back and looked at it. He was safe, and now he's going to drive in Bryce Blom. Aggie bats are ringing on the first Tuesday of the year, coming off a hot weekend against home plate umpire Brian Page. He did call time. That is looped over the head of Kane and Dodge. The Aggies have another hit. Well, you had four misses all in the same spot. He Got him swinging. They'll just step on home plate. That ends the inning. strikeout. He's got a gifted arm and he's got good mechanics. He's solid in there. Summerall has just put one into the gap. That's extra bases. With two down, a man in scoring position. The Lumberjacks look to scratch for the first time.
Going to have to throw him out to complete the K. And Dustin signs with two strikeouts that inning. It's really good old. That got away. Runners move up. Oh, owner thought he'd walked. Yeah, that's. Instead, he'll take a stroll back to the yeah, dugout. Let's whoop in. And give those guys a chance to. Runners coming home. And another runner's coming home. Oh, the Aggies try to get two out of it. They go one for two. They will get the call. He is called safe at home plate. That call is overturned. Huh? A strikeout will close the fourth. The Aggies. That is down the line for a base hit. Extras. On the way for Jamie Lavelle. It's in the right. That's off the bat of Kyle Cullen, and Jamie Lavelle will hold at third. In years, his pitching coach and did a, a fine job. And, uh, Hear those waves of the Pacific Ocean rolling ashore. <laughs> you think about quite a setting for baseball. Oh. Right? Well, we the don't batter know what... never ran, so Hunter Coleman wasn't expecting the throw. Yeah. You never know when it's going to come. Base hit and a second run for the Lumberjacks. Skyler Black drives home. He'll come back to Hunter. He's sitting, sitting over there not, not move. That's a well hit ball, too. Trevor Werner. Stays down on it, high toss to second base, and now a throwaway trying to get the runner back at third. Signs gets the strikeout. Allows four in that frame on a few odd plays. Fouled out in the first, deep to left field though, and struck out looking here against Austin Roth. Will that stay in play for the Lumberjacks? It does. Swing and miss, and thrown out. It's a break, break, break out. pitch. Tag out right there, two down. Quite the inning for Will yeah. Johnston. Yeah. Sure glad I did all that bragging on. Check swing. Didn't look like he went around. They will appeal. Well, they did ring him up. Honer. Clowers throws him out. Well struck left field. Seventh hit of the night for the Lumberjacks. Ooh, chance for two. Yeah, there we go. Five, four, three variety. Thirteen in midweek games as a member of the Southeastern Conference. They've taken care of business. That'll be a fun series, those three games. Base hit up the middle, Rody Bark. As we come back, still two outs in the seventh because just before the break, catcher's interference was called, negating the out at second base. Two scoreless frames from Will Johnston in relief. Now it's Jake Nelson. Got a balk. And a balk call. Got a strikeout and a big one. Got the outside Good pitch. corner. Good pitch. Comes all the way fastball. back. Jake Nelson hit the first batter, walked the second, then he balked him into scoring position. Uh, then impressive. strikes out three in a row. Yeah. A little bit not wear anybody down. 
It's a walk and the bases are loaded. The Aggie catcher might be missed. Most of last season after pitching in just three games, and he will return to the mound tomorrow against Prairie View. And they're off. High and tight. That'll bring home the 12th run of the night. Logan Britt scores on the bases. Loaded walk by Ty Coleman. And they're off with this pitch. High and tight, and that got Rody Barker. Up around the helmet. That is at the first baseman. Got a strikeout to start the night. So the Aggies with a 13 to 4 win have now been victorious in their first four of 2020.